Hi, I'm Tammy with Second Time to Charm and welcome to the video. I'm so excited to be doing this video today. This video is in participation of the Power Up Collab, hosted by Ken Sarah D.I. Wyatt and co-hosted by me, the Second Time's a Charm. I mean, come on. Awesome, right? I'm so excited. This is my first time co-hosting a collab and a collab where we get to use power tools. Come on, let's do it. And guess what else? We're also doing a giveaway. We're giving away a prize worth $120 that has been graciously donated by Ken Sarah DIY Wyatt. I'll get into more details of that later in the video, but all the details of this collab and giveaway will be in the description. And that includes the playlist, which has the five channels videos on it. It includes all our channel links. If you want to check out our individual channels, it has all of the giveaway rules and how you enter. So basically just in a nutshell, what you need to do is go into the playlist, watch each video, give each video a like and comment. Now, even if you don't want to participate in the giveaway, which is perfectly fine, let us know what you think of this collab. Let me know what you think of this video. If you enjoyed this video, if you like the furniture flip I do, if you like this collab idea of women using power tools, give this video a like. Let me know in the comments what you think of the furniture flip I do, what you think of this collab. You know, let us know your opinions. We would love to hear from you. So yeah, let's get started with the DIY. And as I said, I will give you more details here in a second. All right, well, here are the five channels participating. And remember, you need to like and comment on all of our videos in order to enter the contest to win this prize. And please note, that you will be able to choose which color of yarn you want sent to you, as well as whether you get needles or a hook. And Sarah will be personalizing the bag that it all comes in just for you. Isn't that great? <laughs> So this piece I picked up was in, in really bad shape and I, I don't know, <laughs> it was really bad. And I, I definitely decided, you know, shortly after I picked it up, this is going to be a rustic piece because I didn't really want to put a lot of work into this guy. I mean, even though it was wood, it was, I think, homemade and it was kind of, you know, it had this thick white paint all over it that you know I just I didn't want to mess with so I decided to embrace all of its rusticness if that's a word and just go with it so I'm covering it now with I did two coats of this gray primer because it sticks really well to things and also I knew I was gonna be painting this black and gray is a lot easier to cover than white painting with black also, I wanted to have some thin layers. I didn't want them all to be thick layers, so I figured it'd be best if I put some thin layers on first. Also, uh, all the materials that I use in this video will be listed in the description as well, just with everything else you could ever imagine. I mean, there's gonna be so much information in that description. <laughs> <laughs> Anything you could ever want to know will be there. Just go look at it. <laughs> and also, uh, I wanted to do an update. Uh, I recently started my series, Good Vibes and DIYs, and I believe it was a great success. I really, really enjoyed reading all the comments and, you know, getting the feedback. If you haven't seen it yet, it is basically I do a DIY and I tell feel good true stories from around the world and I just I really really enjoy doing it and I thought about doing it for this video 
but I, I kind of ran out of time. The project itself took longer than I expected it to, and it just didn't quite work out. But I do plan on doing another episode very soon, so keep on the lookout for that. And also, if I didn't say earlier, uh, after you enter for the giveaway, Sarah will be announcing on her Instagram and her Facebook group for Can Sarah DIY It, the winner of that challenge, on the following Saturday, which I believe is September 18th, 2021. I will say that it felt like it took forever to paint this thing and I couldn't figure out why because it was a small piece of furniture and then I I realized, you know, normally when you paint furniture, you don't paint every single surface of the furniture. You just mainly paint the outside and I had to paint every single surface like in the drawer, around the outside of the drawer, in where the drawer goes, everything. It just all of it had to be covered because all of it was white and all of it was stained and really beat up and I, I just had to cover all of it. So what I'm doing here is I decided to make a drawer handle, a new drawer handle out of a yardstick. And so I'm cutting pieces of a dowel and I use that drawer pull as a guide to figure out how, how far of a space I wanted, like how far I wanted the yardstick to come off of the drawer. I decided to do this part with a miter box instead of the jigsaw, which I use later because I thought it might be more precise. It did still come out a little crookedy, but <laughs> again, I don't know if that's a word, <laughs> but I, uh, I just wanted to, to get it as straight as I could. And here I used antiquing wax so I could get it to match this yardstick, which I end up using for the handle. I specifically picked this yardstick because I live in Oregon and I thought whoever ended up buying this piece would really appreciate having an Oregon handle (laughs) on the drawer. And that's also the, the same reason that I cut this yardstick in the miter box as I thought it, it might be a straighter cut. And then I used more antiquing wax on the edges so that it didn't look like it had just been cut. Now, I didn't notice until after I got to to this part that the, the way the holes were drilled for this drawer, like they weren't centered. So I had to kind of off center them on the yardstick. And honestly, I don't know if I would have, I might change the yardstick handle. I mean, I might bolt it instead of doing the dowels. I think it'll just be way more sturdy. So this is me using the jigsaw. (laughs) I don't have a lot of experience with a jigsaw and I was a little nervous to do it, but once I'd gotten through a few of these sticks and I, I really, it wasn't that big of a deal. I taped the line to make it a lot easier to follow and that helped a lot and I went slow and that helped a lot, made it so the wood didn't splinter up too much. I mean, it took me a bit because I had to cut a bunch of yardsticks, but I mean, now I feel more comfortable with a jigsaw, so that's pretty cool. And I decided to staple these onto the back because I I didn't really think it would need nail 
staples, they, the staples worked so well and, and, and it was so easy. So I just stapled them on. And if you'll notice, I have the yardsticks actually coming up a little higher than that back shelf because I needed something to stop the drawer since there wasn't anything back there anymore. So I just made them a little bit taller so they'd stop the drawer from sliding all the way back out. So I did do, in addition to the glue, which I would normally not do super glue for wood, but I needed something fast. And then I put nails in through the front, and that's why I was covering up with paint. And now I'm drilling out the dowels for the screws, which I'm doing here. And for this last little you know, flourish, if you will, <laughs> I decided to add wheels to the bottom to make it a little, even a little more industrial or rustic or whatever you want to call it. So we're getting close to the final reveal here. I appreciate you staying with me through the whole video. If you enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed this furniture flip, please give this video a like. Let me know what you think in the comments. And if you want to enter the giveaway, please remember you have to like and comment on each of our videos in order to be entered. And Sarah will announce the winner next Saturday, September 18th on her Instagram and Facebook. And here are the final reveals. I think it turned out really cool and awesome. And I'm glad I had an opportunity to work on it. And I'm glad that you are here to watch it with me. So thanks for being here and thanks for watching and have a good day. Bye.